Although it's called the Hong Kong Coliseum, this venue rarely hosts sporting events. Instead, it's famous for music concerts. To the many singers who have performed there, stepping onto the Colosseum stage represents a milestone in their entertainment careers. There was a time when the Beijing Capital Gymnasium was the top venue for mainland popular music, similar to how the Hong Kong Coliseum has become the top choice for Hong Kong music. In October 1998, a rock band consisting of four young Hong Kong singers held a concert in the Capital Gymnasium. This marked the first time that Hong Kong singers had ever held a concert on the mainland. For the mainland audience at that time, the concert was a novelty. Previously, the voices of Hong Kong singers had only ever been heard on cassette. The band called Beyond sang their hearts out on stage, but the Cantonese-speaking singers found it hard to resonate with the audience. After just a few songs, half the audience had left. However, at the end of their show, they sang a cover version of mainland rock singer Tui Jian's hit, Nothing to My Name. The remaining members of the audience were deeply touched. In Liu's memory, music from Beijing and Hong Kong were worlds apart, with one sung in Mandarin and the other in Cantonese. Regardless of the clear-cut boundary and minimal communication between the two sides, Hong Kong's music made an impact on the Chinese mainland. When Hong Kong singer Chung Ming Man sang My Chinese Heart at the 2012 CCTV Spring Festival Gala, singers from both Hong Kong and Taiwan were no longer a novelty to the annual gala and the mainland audience. But when Chung received his first invitation from CCTV 20 years ago, this marked a milestone not only in Chung's career, but also in the mainland's adoption of Hong Kong popular culture. For Chung, that time in his life is unforgettable. The success of Chung's performance exceeded all expectations. After his performance, rather than attending the celebration party, Chung decided to hold a fireworks display, during which he accidentally ignited some dry hay in the road. By 1997, Hong Kong's pop music had become exceptionally popular on the mainland. Singers such as Jackie Chung, Leslie Chung, Andy Lau and Anita Mui were drawing legions of diehard fans from across the country. As a result, mainland musicians came to realize the value of cultivating stars. Quick 
quite a few mainland singers started covering Hong Kong singers' famous songs and cooperating with Hong Kong music producers. Some mainland stars managed to carve out successful careers. Fei Wong was one of them. Wang Fei is a classic Beijing Yogurt Beijing Yogurt. In 2011, Fei Wong's solo tour took her to Hong Kong after an eight-year hiatus. But following a golden age lasting 20 years, Hong Kong's Cantonese pop industry has come to an end. There's one place in Hong Kong where you can find almost all the famous faces of Hong Kong's entertainment industry. Jet Li is one of the few mainland stars honored here. In 1982, Li shot to fame after starring in the Kung Fu movie Shaolin Temple. Later, his popularity soared even higher with his portrayal of the Kung Fu master Wong Fei Hung. 所以呢，就是呃，徐峰那个版本里面，就是很多关于国家、民族的那个感情在里面的。所以呢，就很快很快就得到观众的欢迎了。全世界变了，我们都不再适合这个江湖。For a long time. Only a limited number of Hong Kong movies were screened in mainland cinemas. Backstreet video screening rooms became the most popular venues for showing Hong Kong movies. Amongst humble dwellings and stale air, various movie genres including romantic stories, kung fu and slapstick comedies were screened one after another. Audiences were entranced by the film's imaginative stories, stunning graphics and luxurious lifestyles. For the Chinese, not only did it give a very good culture and culture, but it gave it a very big space. I went to the city of Wang Fu, and I found 脚底下的每一片土地都是一个历史。我更坚定，我将来我们的电影肯定要回中国内地拍拍戏的。After Hong Kong's return, exchanges between Hong Kong and the mainland gradually increased. Hong Kong movie makers went north to seek new cooperation opportunities. In 2002, the movie Hero, directed by Zhang Yimou, grossed more than 15.6 million US dollars at the mainland box office. The historic record was the result of cooperation between Hong Kong and mainland movie makers. The stunning action scenes, masterminded by director Xiu Tong Ching, played a major part in the movie's extraordinary success. After this massive success, Many people thought that only Zhang Yimou was capable of creating such masterpieces. Then in 2004, another New Year blockbuster set new records. The movie, Kung Fu Hustle, directed by Stephen Chow, once again saw legions of movie fans pour into cinemas. Kung Fu Hustle made 26.5 million US dollars on the mainland and 10.6 million dollars in Hong Kong. Little did people know that the film's massive success had anything to do with the CEPA. However, this free trade deal designed to strengthen economic ties between the mainland and Hong Kong helped pave the way for Hong Kong movie makers to create such masterpieces on the mainland. 
，就是说你港产电影啊，只要通过了中华人民共和国相关广电部门的认可，你可以一路畅行无阻，不用再占进口片进口片的所谓指标。In 2010, a comedy named "Lost on a Journey" was screened on the mainland. For the movie, screenwriter Manfred Wong and director Wai Man Yip chose a very familiar theme: the Spring Festival rush. 打开新闻就在广州的火车站都是人头涌涌的，这些都给我们一些很深刻的印象。The movie tells the tale of a boss of a small company traveling home to divorce his wife, along with the plight of a migrant worker trying to get by in a strange city. We often go on the plane, we know that a cup of milk can't be taken away. A worker in the airport can take a cup of milk and drink it. This is very sad and very ridiculous. These are all things that we learn from life and put it into a person. 相信的人物身上啊，就有这个喜剧效果出来了。In 2012, a Hong Kong movie called Love in the Buff hit cinema screens. The film received good ratings and box office takings. What made the film different was that Hong Kong director Ho Chung Pang shot the scenes in Beijing rather than Hong Kong. 你不要说春娇与志明，其实去年刘伟强的《不再让你孤单》，舒淇演的一个香港女孩，跑到北京去做房地产的，跟个民警发生恋爱，这些是其实这个故事，在十年前刘伟强的构想是一个北京女孩跑到香港，跟一个跑马地的警察认识。Hong Kong filmmakers are interpreting their own versions of life on the mainland, and their novel approach has been happily accepted by mainland audiences. Actually, the most simple is to see the box office. The box office is good. In 2011, the mainland box office made more than $1.9 billion. Cinema audiences are defining the movie industry with the tickets in their hands. To these movie fans, it's irrelevant where the production team comes from. 现在一部片里面有香港演员，有台湾演员，有内地演员，大家也不会呃标签或者解就是香港片或者整部片，就是都是一个华人地区的电影而已。所以我觉得这个这个这个合拍的呃界限越来越模糊。我觉得内地也好，香港也好，可能今后会更加朝着融合、互渗、啊互利的方向发展。逐渐形成一个，呃，就叫华语电影，就不再是港产电影、国产电影，而是华语电影。For generations, Hong Kong music and movies have created beautiful memories for the Chinese people. As someone once said, Hong Kong is like a poem, a song, and a movie. Therefore, it's well worth the time to savor this magnificent place.